It's the government's attempt to plug the deficit through cuts and uh, tax hikes for average taxpayers is what's driving the things we're, happening, we're experiencing in our town at the moment, such as the threat library closures that uh, Atherton's face along with other parts of the borough, uh, and also the sell-off of places like Formby Hall and other civic halls in the borough um, in order to raise funds to plug the deficit which uh, the council now has as a result of the government's cuts back. We can simply stand by and uh, do nothing about it or we can start to fight back. On the library issue, I'm totally opposed to the closure of our library, but not just our library, uh, all the libraries in the borough, which is why I think it's hypocritical for some of our Labour councillors and prospective Labour candidates who stand in this election to say that they're campaigning for the saving of their own local library since they've already voted through a one and a quarter million put in the library's budget which means the axe has got to fall somewhere. I think it's rather hypocritical that they should uh, be campaigning to save their own local libraries but don't give two hoots with the library's clause elsewhere such for example in the middle of Wigan. With regards to the farm be all issue I think it's a scandal. Uh, I don't think the council has a right to sell the building in the first place. I think there's covenants on that bequeathing it to us. And I think the council is, is beyond the powers to have sold it in the first place. If that weren't bad enough, they've also virtually given it away for £80,000, which, uh, you know, is probably equates with uh, less money than some of the tourist houses in Rowland Street adjacent to it. And what's more, we're not likely to see any of that money either, I would say, as a townsfolk. So, uh, a treble, treble whammy for, for our community. I'm uh, opposing that. I'm seeking a ju judicial review uh, as early as possible into the decision to do that and if I can get it quashed I intend to do so. Uh, two years ago, just before the elections, maybe some of you uh, saw this article in the uh, journal, High School Future is Safe. Andy Burnham, my MP at the time, we're now uh, in a different constituency here in Atherton, and Sue Loudon, our young people's champion, saying that the high school's future was safe, lo and behold, it's closing this summer. I've been part of a campaign in this town, we've got uh, 2,800 people signed a petition supporting us, saying that what we want in our town is an adequately funded, educational high achieving, community run non-denominational high school. But that's what our, uh, our town needs, a school that's open to people whatever the educational needs and whatever the religious background, uh, one that's uh, in fact so good in fact that people from other areas may well would you know feel like moving into Atherton uh, such as its reputation. It's within the Labour councils to give us that, they're not prepared to do, instead they're promising us a 14 to 19 year old college which uh, our research during the campaign to, to for, for high school showed that there wasn't the demand for, and which I would suspect there'll be even less demand for now, given the government's abolished the educational maintenance allowance, which uh, encourages a lot of our younger people to uh, be able to go financially. Green socialists, people say, why are you standing as a green socialist? What the hell does that mean, Steve? Well, the issue of climate change is not going to go away. It's got, there's irrefutable evidence that it's happening and it will have catastrophic implications for everyone if it's allowed to go unaddressed. What I'm saying is that we should actually be using the taxation system not only to plug the current budget deficit but to raise the runs we need to invest in a sustainable future that we need, building things such as carbon neutral council houses, that means uh, council houses are not uh, contributing to greenhouse gas emissions. which are uh, efficient to run more gas electricity bills, insulating uh, our existing housing stock so they can be uh, reduced to electric and gas bills too, and also developing things such as uh, a better public transport system, which would help to, help to get people out of the cars and onto public transport, things which will help to address the issue of CO2 emissions and put people to work, also help to solve issues like homelessness and overcrowding. Seems quite sensible to me. Don't think I need to be a rocket scientist or anybody else who wants to work it out. I'm standing as a socialist because I think, uh, I believe in, uh, you know, people should be basically treated equally. Fortunately, the system we live under at the moment sees only a very few small number of people benefit greatly at the top. The vast majority uh, basically uh, face whatever peril that society puts in the way.
obviously things are not as bad as some countries but uh, you can be damn sure over the next uh, five ten years it's the aim of this government and uh, any future government to basically roll us back to the bad conditions that we had in the 1930s in which our grandparents and great grandparents had to endure. As the guy just said going past uh, we need, do need somebody to stand up for our town. I've, uh, I'm an activist, somebody who's been active in the community in this area and in this town for over 30 odd years. Uh, I've been involved in numerous campaigns and issues and uh, involved in the Everton Community Association Residence Forum. Currently, I've also been involved uh, with the campaign for high school for Atherton and in People Against Cuts. I used to be in the Labour Party for 25 years. Um, the record didn't sound well, they've took our baths away, they've closed our youth club, they've uh, closed our school, or will be doing in, in June. Uh, they've sold off our farm be all, and you know, one has to wonder why people continue to vote for them. If I'm elected, I can assure you, I shall be the biggest voice of opposition in the council chamber to what the uh, council's doing and also what the government are doing nationally. And I will also be the, whether I get elected or not, I will also be one of the most active campaigners on the streets and in our communities, uh, fighting for the things that I think we need. Thank you. Hope I can rely on your vote. May the 5th.